Hi Year 12, this is question 11 from exercise 14a on tangents and normals. Okay, so we're asked to find the coordinates of the point where the tangent to the curve is cubic at this point meets the curve again. Okay, so we have a cubic, we have a tangent, I have no idea exactly where the tangent is, let's just imagine it's here. Okay, so the tangent at this point Okay, we don't know the y coordinate where it meets the curve again. So we want to find the coordinates where it meets the curve again. All right, that's just a rough sketch to get some idea of what the question is on about. So this is straightforward to begin. We just find the equation of the tangent. Okay, so we need a point. So at x equals 2, y is going to be 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared. So that's 8 take away 12, so negative 4. So 2, negative 4. And we need the gradient, so dy by dx is 3x squared minus 6x. And we need that at the point where x equals 2. Okay, so we substitute that in. So what have we got? 3 times, so we've got 12, take away 12. So that is 0. Okay, so if I was to draw that on here, actually it's right at the top. It's either here or it's the one at the bottom there. So it's, it's one of those two horizontal lines because the gradient is 0. So that makes it easy to work out the equation of the line. You could substitute into this and it will still work. OK, but we know that it's going to be y minus the y coordinate is equal to 0. OK, so y is negative 4. So that's the equation of the tangent. Now, to find where it meets the curve again, we solve simultaneously with the equation of the curve. So that's y equals x cubed minus 3x squared. OK, so we can just equate those because they've both got y on one side, so we've got x cubed minus 3x squared equals negative 4. So that's not entirely straightforward because it's a cubic to solve. So I'm trying to remember what you've covered in on the Mr Blair's side of the course. So I don't know if you've um, done factors to check to guess a number and then do algebraic division or you could use your graphical calculator. OK, so I'm going to cheat with a graphical calculator now uh, at, at this point. So I want to solve the cubic. So I put in my coefficients of x cubed, of x squared, of x, and on its own, and then I ask it to solve it. So there we go. So I've got two lots of x minus 2, if I was factorising, and one lot of x plus 1. OK, so then x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 1. So we already have used that one up, so the coordinates of the point where it meets the curve again must be where x is negative 1. OK, uh, so in this case, we're going to substitute that back in to get y. So that will give us negative 1, take away 3, so negative 4. So that means our point is 1, negative 4. OK? Um, if you have learned the factor theorem, what you would do is you'd cheat on your calculator, then you would try out putting 2 in there. In fact, we know that x equals 2 is one of the solutions. So we'd try 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared, and we should get negative 4. OK? And then we try, or oh, plus 4 is 0. And then we try dividing by one factor that we definitely know, which is x minus 2, because 2 is a solution. So I do this. We've got many ways of doing algebraic division. Uh, this is one of my favourites. OK, so we've got x cubed. We think, what times is by x to make x cubed? x squared. Then I multiply this, so I get minus 2x squared. But I don't want minus 2x squared, I want minus 3x squared, so I need to minus another x squared. What do I times x by to make that? Minus x. Then we multiply these two together to fill in the box. 
Okay, but I don't want plus 2x, I don't want any x's, so we minus 2x. What do I times x by to make minus 2x? Minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, and I want a plus 4, so that's sorted. So that tells me that x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 is the same as x minus 2 times by x squared minus x minus 2 from what we've just worked out. And then we've just got a quadratic to factorise, which is x minus 2, x plus 1. Okay, and then that gives us solutions when that equals 0 of 2, which we've already used, and negative 1. And then we substitute it in to get the y-coordinate.